Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about putting an outfit together and how I do it. This was not accidental. The homegirl, best dressed, Ashley, kind of inspired me to do this in a way just by watching a video. And since I figure we all have different styles, I kind of wanted to show you how I put my outfits together. So if you're interested, then definitely keep on watching. I wanted to start off with something simple that we probably all have in our closet, and that is a plain white tee and some jeans. First, tucking in the shirt. While you tuck it in the shirt, it just creates, I think, a more sleek silhouette. But what I like to do too is go with a more loose fitted tee. So I got this one a size up than my usual so it could be a little bit more loose. Usually I would go with just some tennis shoes, but I want to make it extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these red shoes. It's still casual, but it definitely has a little edge with the brightness of these red booties. Another thing I like to do just to kind of bring this look a little together is I'm going to add some earrings and I feel like let's go with the red lip. So first I'm going to go with my red lip. This is NARS Audrey. It's more like a burgundy lip, so it's not going to look perfect. Bitch ain't perfect. Literally, like a minute later, I got these hoops on. So these are just simple golded plated hoops. And let's show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. But like I said, I just like to add a pop-up color, kind of make it my own. It's definitely something I'm going to wear more often. So for my next outfit, I kind of wanted to show you styling something printed. I thought I would show you how I style this dress. Let's make this dress less hoey. I look like I'm from the red light district. <laughs> Instead of using it as a dress, this nightgown, I'm going to use it as a skirt. So I'm going to layer this white cardigan. Know how to button up a freaking cardigan. <laughs> Obviously I don't, right? And I still didn't do it right. Help me out, yo. What the fuck? Pair this with some black mules. Because I feel like it just pairs easier with sexy, but I'm innocent type of look, you know what I'm saying? Last thing I want to add, a little bag that I recently thrifted and to tie it all in because I feel like my face looks weird. I'm going to use these earrings. Here is the final look, holding it very neutral with the white cardigan but still kind of keep it a little flirty with this kind of cheetah print skirt. I'm definitely inspired by that Parisian brand that I always talk about, Rouge. And um, I definitely like how they've been mixing cardigans with dresses lately. So the next thing I wanted to try to pair is this denim skirt. I feel like a lot of us have denim skirts, so I figured it'd be a cool way to show you how I would style this. I would like to use this shirt because one, I feel like it's very springy with all the rouges and the tie, and I feel like it would go well with the lightness of the skirt. So here is the top and the skirt together. So another thing I want to do is tuck this bitch in. So you could definitely wear it like this. Um, I think it looks good, like this with some just mules, and it's definitely a great day look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this belt. It's just a simple black belt with kind of this circle style wannabe Gucci. The belt just cinches my waist more. I'm going to take this blazer, a little bit more oversized, so that's longer than my skirt, you know, to kind of show less leg than there already is. Definitely wear this in the winter too, especially if you live in LA where the weather is like non-existent. Wear this look. I'm gonna take these booties that I've had and they also have the circle in the back so I think it match well with the belt. Tie the whole up. What I like about this outfit, it's definitely layerable so you can take off the blazer, switch it out with something different if you like. This is something I'm definitely wear. A much cooler night. So the next pieces are gonna be a little wild white dress. And the cool thing about this white dress is that it's pretty unique on its own because it has two different layers, as you can see down here. 
and it has polka dots. I feel like it's a little too long for what I'm trying to go for. So I'm gonna tuck this bitch underneath this. It's gonna look very odd, very, very odd. A vanilla cupcake with chocolate sprinkles. Still barely above my knee, but I feel like it's a little bit more structured like this. And I'm going to use my trusty new New Balances cropped jean jacket, taking a maybe fancy dress, if you want to call it, and dressing it down a bit. Because of the structure of how this dress is, where we have two different layers layered on top of it, I don't think a jacket that's probably up to my hip will look great. So that's why I kind of like it more cropped on this because it it gives me those three layers, you know, like a freaking cake. The next thing I want to show you how to style is maybe a printed pant or a capri in my version. So I have these picnic bitch pants. This print, gainum, grainum, can't say that, is very in or on trend, especially in the spring and summertime. So I have this like John Smith <laughs> blouse. What I was going for this outfit is definitely take me to the beach type of picnic look like this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tie the ends because i feel like since these pants are more capri that i have to show a little bit of midriff to kind of balance my height so the next thing i'm going to add is a mule so i'm going to be using these suede mules honestly they're just the only shoe that i feel like would go with this outfit this bag would definitely go with that. This shirt is obviously is more baggy, so it would definitely look great under a swimsuit. As you can see, I feel like it's more beachy and appropriate. Like I said, take me to the beach. Take me to bitch, I'm a picnic bitch. So originally I was gonna stop here, and this was gonna be my last outfit, but just while I was trying all these clothes, I figured a lot of my clothes that I used today were a little extra. So I'm going to do a simple outfit, just toning it down. I love a good flare jean, you know, that's me. I mean, you could do this with any jean, but I feel like either straight leg or flare, definitely a little bit more trendy with something more springy or floral for the springtime. So I have this silk kind of cami. So first thing I'm going to do, as always, is tuck it in. These are from Target. They were low-key, like really long. So I hemmed them at the bottom with hem tape. I'm going to go with these mules and they're velvet so it adds another texture. Yeah, it's really simple. Definitely very easy to put together. I feel like you don't get that Wendy, that's what we call it back at home. They're completely two different statement pieces but the colors and materials, I think it meshes really well. All right, so that is how I put together outfits. Um, honestly, it all just depends by my vibe, the weather. At the end of the day, it's about having fun with what you like to wear and just being comfortable. It's all that really matters. Um, I definitely like to have fun with my look. Confidence comes within and you can rock anything you want. I hope you enjoy how I put these outfits together. It's definitely um, not the best. I'm not a stylist. Don't forget to give it a like because that lets me know what content y'all like to see. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And add in bonus if you want to follow my social media. Go for it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I am very grateful that you did. This is all from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, bye, bye. Ooh.